first down inside the 25-yard line. Meyer with a very deep drop, flips it to Bettis. Bettis gets it down to the 19-yard line. That's a gain of five. He is stopped there by Tony McCoy. Now he's dropping into a roll. Now look at the lineman slide out. Big number 74 moving out there. Jerkovic and Justin Hall is out there. They're down by five. It's third and a short three at the 17-yard line. And this is Bettis. And this is very close to a first down. I would suspect close enough for a measurement as we widen out. He gets the ball just inside the 15, and they will measure this. And it is a first down. They are really inexperienced now to Notre Dame's offensive right. That's where they go. First and goal, and Bettis scores the touchdown. And there's no mercy in this game either, Dan. No, there's not. Kevin Carter, a freshman defensive end, had to come into the ball game, and Notre Dame goes right at it. Florida could have been battling for number one here. And Notre Dame, again, with a lot of satisfaction as the big man just explodes. Jerome Bettis carrying his 250 into the end zone. One more time. Second and eight. And straight ahead, plunging through the middle goes Bettis, and now the Gators, it's, it's, they, they were ready to call a timeout. They look towards Spurrier, and then they do call the timeout. They give it to Bettis, he picks up the first down again, and a touchdown! Unbelievable! You put them all up there, you get the seam, and you're gone. We've seen it twice in minutes. I'll tell you right now, those five offensive linemen in my mind are the MVPs of this football game for Notre Dame. Well, Bettis might get a vote. If there's any justice, he's not even getting touched. If there's any justice in this world, those five guys and throw in the tight ends are going to win something. They have certainly dominated the second half. They're big oh. and they're strong. And watch them on the right side. The big surge and a great block I coming mean, out of the backfield. 